Eric Ten Hag defends subbing off Rasmus Hodgland and Kabi Mainu after groans from fans. Eric Ten Hag has defended his decision to substitute Rasmus Hodgland and Kabi Mainu in Manchester United's frustrating 1 1 draw with Burnley on Saturday. The pair were withdrawn when the game was still goalless in the 65th minute, with Ahmad Diallo and Scott McTominay coming on in their place, and the move was met with groans from the Old Trafford crowd. It looked as though Ten Hag's decision had paid off, though, when Anthony fired United ahead in 79th minute, but Ziki Amdouni leveled from the penalty spot not long after. There were more groans at full time as United dropped two precious points, but Ten Hag has hit back at criticism of his changes and says he was protecting Mainu and Hodgland after a grueling few weeks. Asked about the groans of frustration from supporters that greeted his substitutions and the full time whistle, Ten Hag replied, No offense, but I have to manage the team. Winning games comes first of all and you see what the game needs, and I think we needed by that time some freshness first of all. But also tactical wise, bring a player up who can keep the ball, who is creative and then in the midfield you could see it was a very high intensity game, it went up and down. And then you see also some fatigue in Rasmus, who is a very young player, and Kabi Mainu, who is a very young player. And, yeah, they were subbed and it was the right decision. You see after it we took some benefit from it, by bringing the fresh legs with Scott in the position. When it's so open he's very good in such situations and he can make his penetrations from there. And it also happened that we put ourselves from there in a winning position. And then the last thing is that we have had three games, in seven days, where Burnley had days off. In a high-intensity game, it's totally logical to bring players off who are very young and who are in their first years of the Premier League. And then we don't even talk about the injury risk. Rasmus Hodgland had more injuries already in the course of this season, Kabi Mainu also, he had two bad injuries. So I don't want them to get injured, so I protected them as well. So there are more reasons to make the subs. But then I understand that fans want to see, those players. They see also the skills those players bring and contribute to the team, I understand that. But I have to do my job and that is the right decision. Eric Ten Hag finally writes off Manchester United's top four hopes and bemoans refereeing decisions. Eric Ten Hag has finally conceded defeat in the race to secure Champions League football while he is hit out at the refereeing in Manchester United's 1-1 draw with Burnley. The Red Devils created a host of chances at Old Trafford on Saturday afternoon and finally took the lead in the 79th minute when Anthony pounced on a stray pass, ran through on goal and guided a left-footed finish into the bottom corner as he was falling over. But not even 10 minutes later, Burnley were awarded a spot kick when Andre Onana wiped out Ziki Amdouni and the forward dusted himself off to dispatch the penalty and secure a point for the visitors. The result leaves United 12 points adrift of fourth-placed Aston Villa with just four games left to play and a significantly inferior goal difference, and Ten Hag now knows his side will have to settle for Europa League football at best next season. Asked if Europa League qualification now looks most likely for United, Ten Hag told Match of the Day, that is the facts. It is not easy to get fourth when you're so far behind. We needed to win. The past few weeks we've got in winning positions and then given it away. The gap is too big in this phase of the season. Ten Hag was far from happy with the officiating from referee John Brooks and while he had no complaints about the penalty awarded to Burnley, he felt a clear handball had been missed as well as other penalty shouts. Asked if the foul from Onana was similar to the one he got away with at the start of the season against Wolves, Ten Hag replied, I can see that. It is a penalty. But, in the other box I have seen a minimum of three penalties. The refereeing is really inconsistent. If you take the penalty last week against Aaron Wan-Bissaka, why wasn't today? There was a minimum of one penalty against Alejandro Carnacho. In a separate interview with MUTV, it was put to Ten Hag that the penalty decisions seemed inconsistent with those that have gone against United recently and he agreed, replying, very. We are in that moment, it doesn't help, right? We concede penalties, all debatable, against Chelsea, against Liverpool, against Coventry City. And now again. It's a lot against Manchester United, and that feels really inconsistent. So I don't have a problem with the penalty we conceded because that is a good decision, it's a penalty. But then be consistent, and especially the one with the handball. 
If I assess the penalty from Aaron Juan Bisaka in the FA Cup last week, what can he do there? And what is then the handball today? It is absolutely inconsistent. And there is also the referee, he should take responsibility, what it means for the club and especially at this stage of the game. Christian Eriksen disappointed after Manchester United let lead slip versus Burnley. Christian Eriksen spoke to the media after Manchester United's 1-1 draw with Burnley at Old Trafford. The Reds started the game brightly but lost control in the latter stages of the first half. Anthony, who started for a successive game, opened the scoring in the 79th minute with a brilliant finish into the bottom right corner. It was the Brazilians' first league goal of the season, but United were unable to hold on to the lead. Andre Onana conceded a penalty just eight minutes later and Ziki Amduni converted from the spot to secure a point for Burnley. After the game, Eriksen told MUTV, via Manchester Evening News we had the three points in our hands going into the last minutes of ordinary time. We should be able to keep a clean sheet and get the win. I still think there could be some bits that could be better, in my own performance. I made a few decisions that could be better, putting my teammate or myself in a better area around the pitch. But I'm trying to do my best and like you said, I haven't had as much game time. When you're playing, you have to do your best and that's what I'm trying to do. It wasn't a flattering performance from Ericsson and he was quick to put that down to a lack of game time this season. However, he doesn't look like a player capable of playing many games. Let's be completely honest. United have nine days to prepare for the trip to Crystal Palace. It's going to be full focus on recovery, Ericsson added. First of all, it's going to be weird because it's going to be a long week without games, but hopefully it's going to make everyone ready and fit for the game at Palace. Some days off, some training, get your mental and physical ready and go again. You love playing games, it's what you always want to do, and every day, so it's different. But sometimes, of course, you need a bit of a rest to recover and prepare for the next game and it depends on what the manager is going to do in training sessions.